Y'all, I am redesigning my entire life. I am clearing the clutter and chaos from my life physically, internally. It's gone, it's out of here, and I'm doing it all in one month. That is the goal. It's been a little fun. It's been a little easy so far, but today, y'all are getting like, you're, you're seeing my dirty laundry aired quite literally because today we are tackling the kitchen. I'm Heidi, the Heavenly Minded Homemaker, and I told you that I was going to set this goal for myself to redesign my life in 30 days, and I invited you all to come and join me in the process where we look at our life, look at the areas that we want to have less of, less stress, less frustration, less chaos, less clutter, less whatever, and the things that we want to have more of, enjoyment, beauty, simplicity, just living life and not just getting by. You feeling that? Because I'm feeling that. So in this process that I've shared, and if you want all the details, you guys can always check out the links down in the description box. You can also join us that are going to be doing this and also get my booklet printable and other goodies and resources I'm putting all together. Again, those details are down below. But I started pulling these things together. I've been sharing the process with you. I will put the playlist at the end of this video. I shared with you yesterday how I completely deep cleaned and minimized our living room. And I told you that I was starting off with that because that was the easiest room in our house, for me anyways. And today we're moving on to the kitchen, which is not quite so easy and isn't gonna all happen in one day. So if you've been watching and joining me and going, there's no way I could do this in one day, don't worry, I can't do all these rooms in one day either. So. The kitchen part is going to be a multi-step process, but I think there's something very powerful in sharing a raw, real, authentic approach to this because, spoiler alert, yes, I'm a mom on YouTube, but I don't live in a really nice house. We actually don't even own our home. We rent. It's an old house. It's a lot of TLC. My kitchen is not beautiful, <laughs> so I don't even have, like, a real, like, real cabinets. Mine were made back in the day and not in like a nice bougie like custom made way but like in a odds and ends wood put together to kind of resemble cabinets um, my storage is atrocious things don't work they're falling apart they could really use being sanded down and redone but honestly they need to be replaced and i dream of an ikea kitchen like there's no tomorrow so i'm working with what i got okay it is what it is it doesn't have to be the most beautiful brand new thing in the world in order to be beautiful and a blessing to your home and your family. And so I'm going to share with you guys quite literally my process. I'm going to show you all of it in its glorious dirtiness and all. And it's probably going to take us a couple days to get through this because as much as some of y'all might think I'm superwoman, I'm not. And part of this is yes, clearing the clutter and chaos, but then enjoying our life. And my family all wants to do some stuff together this afternoon. So I'm not going to spend all day on this. I'm going to finish this up and I'm going to go enjoy my family. I'm just gonna add this little plug here and it's because I love it so much. I love tending to my nails. It's one of those little simple things that like, it's nice to feel at least a little put together. I've been sharing with y'all for so long now, but I love the Rocket Fuel nail system. They just got some new stuff out that's meant to like lock in your manicure. I have been deep scrubbing our house for two days now. I have been rough on my hands because I kind of wanted to test it out and see how well it worked. I don't have a single chip. Like, not a nail has broken. I don't have a single chip. I keep showing my husband, I keep checking, and I'm like, wow, are you serious? Like, my nails look like day one manicure, and all I used was the Rocket Fuel nail system and then a base coat and a top coat that they just put out. I'll link them down below. If you're like me and you would love to have nice nails, but you're really hard on your hands, <laughs> and so it usually doesn't work out very well, y'all, these are the healthiest nails I've ever had in my life. It's kind of phenomenal, and I'm, again, just impressed that I just scrubbed the tar out of a nasty old oven and I don't have a single chip nail. So you just had to know that. So here is the process. In this redesign your life, I thought there were kind of three steps to it. First was to assess my life. Where am I at? What do I want less of? What do I want more of? Again, watch the videos linked in the playlist at the end if you want to do this as well. The second then was to deconstruct. That's what we're in right now. It was going through different areas of my life food, home, personal care, enjoyment, deconstructing the stuff I didn't want any more of so that I could focus on building it up to where I want my life to be and I feel it should be. 
for the home, that's been literally, I'm going from room to room, vlogging the whole process for you guys to see and minimizing strictly the space. I believe in simple living, not having a bunch of stuff. It is such a blessing in so many ways. And so what I'm doing in each and every room is I'm removing everything out of the space, everything. I am deep cleaning, scrubbing, everything down. Then I'm putting back just the essentials, the things I have to have to continue to live and work in the space. And the things that are left over then I can assess, are they trash, right? Are they treasures and I don't want them to go anywhere, they absolutely are must. Are they things that are ready to be thrifted? I need to go drop them off at the thrift store, let them be a blessing to someone else because I don't need them, they can be donated. Or are they going to a timeout? A timeout meaning I'm gonna, not sure, I'm not really ready to drop them off at the thrift store yet. I know they're not treasures, like I wouldn't run into our burning house to save them, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna part with them yet. I'm gonna put all of those things in just a cheap box, set it down in the basement for 30 days. I'm setting an alert on my calendar so when the 30 days are up, I'll go down and reassess. Did I need to come down and get anything out of the box, right? When I look at this 30 days from now after living without it, did I miss it? Did I even notice it was gone? And then that will lead us to our final step here in this whole redesign your life process where we will rebuild our lives to be what we know they should be. And so we are here at this point with the kitchen. And so the first thing I started by doing was I took everything out of our lower cabinets. Now the kitchen one, you guys are gonna get a video today and you're gonna get one tomorrow. I went ahead and did everything lower cabinets and drawers, including scrubbing the oven and getting everything cleared out. And then I'm gonna do upper cupboards and shelves, refrigerator, kind of the upper stuff tomorrow. So part two on this one, keep an eye out. Be sure when you subscribe, turn on the little bell notification so that way you see it when it comes out. But step one was to get everything out of the space. I just put everything here, you can still see a bunch of it, on the dining room table. So I cleared all that off, I had a spot, everything's coming out. Bite off what you can chew, all right? It's all right if you can't do your whole kitchen in one day. I know I can't do mine all in one day. I mean, I guess I could if I didn't do anything else, but that's no fun. So if it means you're only tackling one portion, that's okay. Our kitchen and dining room is one room. I mean, our living room's right here too, but it's one room. I'm doing this part as the kitchen in the next couple days, and then I will do the like sideboard, the decor, the walls, and the pantry with the dining room on a different day. So it's okay to break this up into bite-sized chunks that you can handle. So step one, clear it all out. Your second step is going to be to clean it really, really well. So I do wanna share with you guys, I know for me, I want to be aware of my family's health, my own health, right? The, the health of our home is really, really important to me. And something that is so difficult, of course, is finding things that work well, that also are lined up with your health standards for yourself, your family, your home. And I was so thankful that I just here recently found an amazing company. They're actually the like last American-based natural manufacturer of home-related items. I've got their cleaning products here. Y'all, these are all the ones I'm using today. I absolutely love them. It is a monthly shopping club. They have all these amazing wellness products between, you know, just your family's personal needs, your house cleaning needs, supplements. There's so many things. My protein powder, I drink my coffee every morning that I love so much. They have it all over there, even cosmetics. I mean, literally, there's so many different things that they have. But I love this wellness company because 
they send their stuff out in these small little concentrated bottles. And so then you just, you know, mix them yourself so you're not paying for water like you do with the chemical filled stuff at the big box stores. I love having this stuff because it works so well. So when it's come time, like I've grabbed my top three favorites. I have everything just right here ready to go with the microfiber cloth. I even went ahead and just poured some cleaning solution into a bucket of water so I could have a big bucket here to just kind of scrub as I go. But it feels so nice being able to get, you know, everything out. I took my vacuum and kind of cleared out the big debris. And then having these natural products, they're easy on your hands. They're not going to tear up your skin like so many cleaners do. And for me, I do everything with all my kids and animals right around me. And so I don't want a bunch of toxic fumes filling our house that I'm like having to air out and be like, kids, don't be in here. I'm scrubbing you know isn't that the worst like bathrooms especially you're in there scrubbing and it's like oh you're like choking on the fumes and so I love this knowing that everything is natural non-toxic it works fantastic but it's safe for my family it's not harsh on my skin you guys saw you guys are gonna see I'm doing all of the scrubbing and cleaning I kind of wanted to test how well the rocket fuel stuff worked which is amazing but I'm doing all of this with bare hands. I don't have gloves on, right? I'm scrubbing everything down. My skin is still soft. I have no issues. And so if you guys are interested in a natural solution to your household needs, especially backing an American company that employs people all over the United States here that's going back into our own communities, if you guys wanna check that out, I have a link down below. You guys can go sign up and get all the information over there to come and join the wellness company with me as well. So that way, again, finding good products that work well, that are cost effective and are putting good things into our home instead of a bunch of chemicals and toxic nonsense, huge score. So I've got my amazing cleaners here. I have pulled everything out of the space and now it is time to get scrubbing. and shiny clean oh, I feel so much better it's so disgusting how much stuff gets gunked up in there like my oven I really don't deep clean it as often as I should it's really old and honestly just needs to be replaced but I scrubbed it to the best of my ability so I know that it's good and clean back behind the drawers all the little crevices even taking all of my like bins that I use for storage and I've got them all filled up in the sink here to rinse them all off getting everything nice and clean the cupboards inside outside right all the little nooks and grooves and stuff in the cupboard doors and the drawers again my kitchen isn't pretty <laughs> i'm not gonna be able to make it do that this isn't like a massive makeover but it's clean it smells so much better it feels so much better like i know that it is ready now to be put back together and so the next step is going through all of the stuff that we took out and discerning what is essential so be for real with yourself here. I'm gonna keep saying this as we go through this process because your decisions here make a big difference, okay? As you go through this, you have to really look and say, okay, I'm going to set aside the essentials. I cleared off my counter over here, so I'm gonna put the essentials over here. These are the things that I know we use daily, 
they're irreplaceable. I have to have these items in our kitchen, okay? Be serious with yourself. What are you using on a daily basis? What is something that you use every month without fail, okay? Or an item that is, you know, so irreplaceable, it obviously can't go anywhere. Set that stuff over here on the counter. And then that means that what you're gonna be left with is stuff that fits into one of those other categories. Trash, a treasure, right? You might not use it every day, but you're gonna to wanna to hold on to this. We're gonna to have to come up with a solution for it. Something to go to the thrift store or something to go to timeout. And I found it's really important. Sometimes it can be overwhelming to sort things into those different piles immediately, but picking through from the big pile, okay, I know I have to have this. I use this every day. I use this every week. Every such and such we use this, right? Put those things off to the side. So you're gonna start to notice that the things that are left start to stand out in one of those piles. Cups that don't have a lid, things that are broken, things that are just really beaten up and not really serving you. I know for me, we have a bunch of like mismatched stuff that just drives me crazy because nothing fits together and it's kind of just chaos. I'm done. Let that go to the thrift store. Let it be a blessing to someone else. I would much rather save my pennies and go and get a set that works better for our family than kind of hodgepodging these pieces together. And I think sometimes it can be really nice even to super minimize down, kind of do without a little bit because then it really allows you to think, not just consume, but to really look at it and go, hmm, what do we really need? What is, is quality over quantity a better deal for us right now? You know, where should we be in this area? So now that everything's out, everything's clean, you're feeling good, you're getting it done, right? Pet yourself on the back. Let's sort through all of this and separate it into our piles. Essentials off to the side and what's left is either trash, a treasure, off to the thrift store, or headed for timeout. your pile separated. I was amazed. My husband and daughter came home from their little father-daughter date day and I was like, honey, we have so much junk in here that we don't even use. And I feel like we have a pretty simple kitchen. I feel like we go through this stuff pretty regularly. And even still, I've got a ton of stuff in the trash. My thrift store pile is huge. I'm gonna put it straight into the back of the car so it can get dropped off next time I'm over in that area of town. I have the things that are essential that we're keeping that will get put away. And I've got a few items that are going into timeout. Ones again that I feel like we do use or maybe we'd use if they weren't stuffed in the back of a dark cupboard and I remembered they existed, but I'm not quite ready to part with them yet. It's amazing when you put things into that time out category, because again, as we continue, I'm going to do my pantries next. Maybe the season of life, I just need a better system. Maybe things do need to be organized a little bit better so that I can see them and can remember that I have them so I can use them. But being able to have just the essentials back in my kitchen, everything's clean, organized, easy to get to, really is encouraging to me that I don't want to fill every nook and cranny of my house with stuff, right? Especially if it's not truly serving our family. So the next step now is to get everything put away nicely and neatly so that we can enjoy <sighs> a nearly better kitchen. For me, I'm not done. I got more to do. So I'm going to get working on this and getting stuff put away. Be sure to join me right back here tomorrow because I'm going to tackle the upper cupboards and there is a mess of stuff that I honestly kind of don't even want to think about. We've got our like spice cabinet, medicine cabinet that's a disaster. We've got this like shelf above our oven that collects more clutter than I even want to think about. I literally like block it out of my vision as I walk through the kitchen. So I got a lot to tackle tomorrow and I'm going to show you all of it up front, honest. This is what I'm dealing with and hopefully it can be an encouragement for you as well to tackle yours because it feels so much better once it's done. So let me go ahead and leave you this playlist of everything that we are working on. I'm gonna finish up my kitchen. You get working on yours. Let me know how it's going down below and I will see you all right back here tomorrow. Bye friends.